Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 215. You get the Nasdaq off 110. S&Ps are off 27. We get some selling commitments at the close, no doubt. Our guest today, folks, is R Richard Haruska. Richard is the executive director of the Thai Tampa Bay Network. This is a nonprofit organization devoted to entrepreneurs in all industries and stages. Their mission is to foster entrepreneurship through the robust Thai Network. Richard, welcome to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. It's awesome to be here. Uh, we appreciate it. So tell, tell us first off about exactly what Thai Tampa Bay is. So Thai actually is a global organization founded in Silicon Valley in 1992. The organization now has over 60 chapters worldwide, and we were founded locally in Tampa Bay in 2012. Okay. Uh, predominantly, the organization was founded by folks from the Indian community um, a good 30 years ago, but now the organization has grown to support all entrepreneurs, no matter their background. So we do a couple of key things. We fund entrepreneurs, we mentor entrepreneurs, we educate entrepreneurs, and we network with fellow entrepreneurs. So those are kind of the four key pillars of Thai Tampa Bay. Nice, and you've seen uh, quite a difference now since the two, two, 2012 you said you opened, right? Yeah, we sure have. So what's pretty fascinating about the organization, so I'm actually the volunteer leader and the president of the organization. Um, we just brought on a full-time executive director. So. The organization's predominantly been led by volunteers locally in the community. So that's what's pretty fascinating. But we really wanted to kind of grow to the next level. And we just brought on our first full-time executive director, Mona Patel. And she was just named uh, Business Journal's 2525 just this morning. Well, congratulations, man. That's great news. You know, and it, it's been, no doubt, really intriguing for all of us, the kind of run that uh, Tampa Bay has had the, these last uh, basically 10 years. Uh, you know, I, and it's intriguing. And I told a couple other entrepreneurs, you know, I've been down here 25 years, but I remember when Boston wasn't the Boston that people see right now. In fact, one of my offices was right beside uh, the guy that uh, Lotus One Two Three. Mitch had three people in his office. I had, I had 25, and he had three. You know, <laughs> so it, well, it's just really cool how fast things can go, right? When you have a support system. No question. You know, I've when I was an entrepreneur earlier in my career, I didn't have the uh, the benefit of having the ecosystem we have now. And there once was a time in Tampa Bay where maybe once a year there'd be a big company with a big successful sale of their company or maybe one company would be moving moving to the area. And now it's like once a week. Uh, there's this company called Fast. They just moved. Um, you know, and you, you can't keep up with all the momentum. So now we were just named the top tech city. I believe by Forbes. So yeah, we're uh, I believe we're unstoppable to use a mantra of my alma mater, USF. <laughs> I like it. So let me ask you, you know, um, I saw that Dr. Patel is on there and what ends up happening like in any big city folks, you know, I, I believe he was in the medical business, right? Made, sure was. A, made a huge, you know, entrepreneur, had a lot of patents. Um, it's really cool that you have someone like that and then they're willing to basically whether it's fund, I use the Rolodex, I get education going so that the, the next crowd, you know, meaning whether it can be people in their 50s, 40s, 30s, or, you know, 20s, uh, to get going, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, no question. So when I first became the volunteer leader and president, you know, him being the chairman emeritus, I just kind of thought he was more there for overall support. And I had the pleasure of meeting him one on one and was so gracious with his time. And he is very hands-on, actually. I get consistent emails from him and direction and called me one time with some advice. So, yeah, he's been an unbelievable advocate for what we do um, and a great supporter. And him and his wife, their foundation is an annual sponsor as well. And then also his son, Sheelan, he's become incredibly involved in the chapter as well. He actually spoke at our first in-person event that we had with Commissioner Weigel, the statewide financial regulation commissioner. And uh, other cool news is we just got accepted to Embark Collective. So, in addition to having a full-time executive director, we actually have a place to call home now. That, so we're, we're that, trying to move on up, my friend. <laughs> well, that is awesome. And, uh, you know, with Dr. Patel, it's interesting, you know, before the crash, I actually was in his office interviewing him. And okay. I know I know you're talking about hands-on. And, folks, it's really cool, man. Like, picture this. When you have someone that's been so successful, and this guy's just right down to earth. I mean, like, it was just a normal thing saying, Tom, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I was like, man. And he had the he had the uh, he had all these real estate models inside his office when we were interviewing him. So it was it was really cool, man. There's no doubt. So so yacht 
when we say Tampa Bay, it's, it's Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. I mean, the reality, anyone can come to some of your meetings, right? 100%. Yeah, we have an open membership for kind of all entrepreneurs. And then we have kind of an extra kind of, um, you know, special group called our charter members. Those okay. are what I call kind of heart and soul of uh, Thai Tampa Bay. Very successful executives, entrepreneurs. It's an annual membership of 1200 a year. And um, excuse me one second. What's up? Okay, I'm on a live interview, champ. So the the, the joys of entrepreneurship and uh, having three boys at home while your wife had a meeting, you know? <laughs> that's good. I like it. I, 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 that's, that, listen, man, that's where it's at. And, and to him, the big urgency was that the lesson for his basketball didn't show up yet. So <laughs> I love it. I, real, that... real more problems in the day of COVID that we live in. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's um just been a fascinating run. And um, the charter members, we have over 40 now. And we're looking to set a bunch mark to get to a past the 100 by the end of next year. And one thing I want to share, Tom, with you and your listeners and as well is um, we just partnered with the Thai Atlanta and Thai Carolina chapters and came together. And our charter members invested over four hundred thousand dollars into women and minority entrepreneurs. Nice. So that's just another example of Thai doing its part to help the underrepresented community. And what do you find? Is there a certain niche that we're getting in the Tampa Bay area, meaning entrepreneurship, or is this kind of spread out? You know, that's a phenomenal question. So I used to be the accelerator director at the Tampa Bay Wave, and uh, now I'm a part of Embark Collective, and I support all the fellow entrepreneur support organizations. I would say health tech, cyber and secure tech, nice. um, marketing, advertising tech, education tech is really growing as well. So those are some of the financial tech is rapidly growing. Actually, the wave just announced its new accelerator in fintech. So, you know, those are some of the top sectors that come to mind. But the great thing is so these entrepreneurs, they've got ideas. You know, and there used to be a time you had to build a company in the other markets, but now the access to capital and the support network is there. So yeah, we're seeing we're seeing tons of different models emerge. And we certainly have the place to live. We know that. Well, yeah, that you got it, my yeah, friend. <laughs> there, there's no doubt about that. Well, listen folks, you can get you can get hold of them uh, by uh, it's tampa.tie.org, right? Yes. It's so tampa.tie.org folks. Okay, check it out. Richard, this has been awesome. We appreciate all the help. We appreciate the education. We appreciate you uh, marketing Tampa Bay, man, and getting uh, these entrepreneurs going and helping them out, man. Yeah, and I would say for my friend JP Dubuque and the St. Pete EDC, who's a rock star, I would say uh, Tampa St. Pete is definitely the way to uh, further market it. So <laughs> there, there's no, there's no doubt, man. We, there is no doubt. <laughs> well, okay, man. For well, the time. Listen, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to having you on again. All right, thank you. Thanks, Richard.